welcome back to Bala Image. If this is your first time, hi, my name is Roche. I'm a lover of fashion, the business of fashion. I'm also a little obsessed with vintage. If this is your first time, I do a lot of styling content here, primarily through thrifted and vintage finds. So if you do like styling content, please consider subscribing. I'd love for you to join the family. Now, today I have two hauls or should I say I made two different stops and I've combined them because the first one I went to a Salvation Army I only got two items and I popped into a second store this was Goodwill in Hazlet 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 and <laughs> I got a few more things from there as well so I'm just gonna go into the come fifth with me and then I'll show you what I got update before I go into the haul so if you remember my first um do you remember my first little trial with the dossier perfume I had tried their floral marshmallow which is supposed to be like the by Killian love don't be show love don't be shy I'm gonna give this to my niece and I wanted to try because I like this I wanted to try the actual fragrance so I was browsing Sephora and saw that they actually have the by Killian and um, so I decided to get this little vial. I've used quite a bit of it. And um, shockingly, I prefer the dossier. <laughs> there's something in this. If you like lemony, limey scent, there's a very lemony, limey scent in the um, actual fragrance. Whereas the, the dossier um, Flora Mush Marshmallow does not have that high citrus scent at the end so i just thought i'd update you with that not sponsored i just wanted you to know that i was so curious that i went and bought um this these are actually i think the same price for you know this this i think it's over 200 dollars for the um full size version but i just wanted to try to see what the actual scent smell like and i do actually prefer this so if you were interested in the floral marshmallow or you're interested in the by killian i definitely say try the dossier but that's just my little shout out i do have a five percent code model image five and you can get five percent off if you just want to try this one of course is buy more pay less so if you buy more you pay you get a percentage off and then you use my five percent code and you get even more off so just a little psa for my little revelation now when i went out thrifting this time around i was looking i was feeling for classics you know when i think classics i'm thinking ralph lauren bruno cuccinelli um max mara previous seasons their fall season i'm not so 
Um, it's not so classic. <laughs> But I remember their spring summer season um, for this year and they had a lot of navy and um, it's kind of like that Ralph Lauren idea as well. So I had that in the back of my mind, but I also wanted a lot of like beigey, creamy, camely colors because that's so fall, so Maxmara, um, that kind of thing. Um, I didn't exactly find what I was looking for. <laughs> show you the pieces that I got. So for the Salvation Army I spent $15.45 and then when I went to the Goodwill I spent $39 something. I think I rounded up to $40. So I went a little over about $5. You know I'm still in the ballpark so <laughs> we're close to that $50 budget so what I'm gonna do is that I have one pair of shoes and it's the only accessory that I have so um, the pair of shoes is from Goodwill and then I'll go into the Salvation Army pieces and then I'll go into the Goodwill pieces. So a little mix up, but it's okay. So the first item I got is this pair of shoes. Now, I think it was Saint Laurent that had this style in a previous season. And you know, because everything is so pink this year and it's gonna go into, you know, spring, summer again next year. So I decided to grab this as a slight little platform. I love this little peep toe. I remember when it came out, I really loved this um, shoe. I think I had a uh, champagne gold one of this before and yeah I just decided to grab this in the spirit of platform is back and I love this color so much and for this I spent oh six dollars so awesome <laughs> just a little pop of color to play with and I only spent six dollars the brand is Michael I don't know who that is um but yeah it was my size I love the color so I just decided to grab it. So this is the first thing that I got. Now for the Salvation Army pieces. The first item I got was this little top jacket type of number. I loved the slight little peplum. I love the little details in the front that it's a um, off-center kind of closure. And when I saw this, you know, it's definitely in the vein of like um, a Ralph Lauren type of, you know, suiting type cloth and I just love the 80s. I loved the little buttons here and I just love the structure of this so I decided to grab this. This is by Sheena. This is what the label looks like. But yeah, I just thought this was such a fun piece. It even has a little um, <laughs> pocket square in it as well. So I just decided to grab this. So this is the first thing from Salvation Army. First up is this cute little peplum top. You can see that it's quite 80s, you know, with the statement shoulders. But for, you know, 80s, because they have such a voluminous type sleeves, I always prefer to just push them up a little bit. It makes the look so much more modern with just that simple little trick. So this is how I've styled it. Because it's fall, I went ahead and styled it with a pencil midi skirt. It's actually like a um, plaid tartan blue and green type print. And these sparkly booties that serves me year after year. I wear them gingerly. So I will have them for a few more years to come in there. Just a booty booty that I absolutely love. I've also styled it with this Tate and Blake. This is the Kim bag in Lizard. And yeah, absolutely love this little look. So it's absolutely stunning and I'm so glad I picked this up. <laughs> Next up, I found this denim blazer. Now, you know, especially for this time when we do a lot of denim on denim, Canadian tuxedo type thing, but I've never had a um, denim blazer structured like this and I loved the lapels. I loved the color of it. I love this little pocket on the front. I thought it was so fun. It does have contrast stitching with the white thread going around. So a fun, fun, fun find. It is not lined. You can see the um, back of it here, but you know, it's vintage. So I guess that's <laughs> um, how they did it. It just has UFO jeans on the buttons and on this little American flag right here. Yeah, and inside it has another little pocket right here. And right here it says Tavares. That's a label here. So this is the second piece that I got. This is such a fun, fun, fun find. So, <laughs> so two blue items from the Salvation Army. 
Next up is the denim blazer. Yes, I went ahead and did denim on denim. Really love the shape of it. I love the length of it. It's a perfect fit. I have tried it on with the heels just so you can see what these look like. I love them. They're extremely comfortable. They fit perfectly. So this was a good little grab. Denim vest, this I've had from H&M for years. I was trying to find a denim vest this summer because I knew this one kind of cut down and wanted something that I could wear without something underneath. I've just put on a lacy little bra so it, you know, gives a little visual interest since we're going to cut down. <laughs> In there, jeans are a Levi's rib cage. Bag is Prada. A simple belt because the outfit is statement enough. This is just a little coach belt. So this is the look for this little blazer. And I absolutely love this. So from the Goodwill, there was that coat with the fur collar. I tried it on several times and, you know, I kept going back to it and I, I just wasn't feeling it. It had everything that says... <laughs> my name on it but for some reason the fit didn't feel right so i ended up leaving that for some reason i even walked to the cashier register went back tried it on and it just it just didn't feel right i mean there are some marks on it which i probably could have been able to get out so that didn't deter me too much but in the end i just it just wasn't vibing with me so i didn't get that fur um color jacket coat what i did get is this little vintage quilted tight coat you can see the quilting in the you can see the quilting pattern in it but it's just nice and cozy i loved the color of this i loved these little buttons um going all the way down so i think this when i tried this on this just sat a lot better compared to that one so i decided absolutely for this but whether or not i was going to get in that get that as a second coat, you know, I decided to pass on that. But this one, I was trying to figure out where is it from? It has, this also has like inner pockets on both sides. It's nicely lined inside. Um, the, the pockets match this little kangaroo type pockets at the front. And we have two of them here. They're nice and warm and comfy. I couldn't figure out where this thing was from. There's nothing in the side <laughs> sides here there's nothing on the color and then i finally went and checked the pocket and voila they have a spear button in here <laughs> a spear button in here and this is where i found um the brand and it is by blair so i'm like oh how convenient you know it won't itch my collar <laughs> the spare button is here um so yeah so this was such a fun little oh, vintage find so definitely i had to get this it also fits really well it feels great on this will be a nice fall piece and it's in the color scheme that i was vibing for so um that's the next piece that i got next up this is a repeat buy for me but it is a leather pants now this is full leather it's by express i loved that it had this like soft um like it's not fur but it's like a suede type lining so it will be nice and comfy when it gets cold but the reason i'm picking these up is because i'm trying to find you know a perfect <laughs> fitting leather pants and i have a few that looks really great i love how it's styled this will be a nice high-waisted Relax straight leg. This is why I picked this up. So that's the next thing that I got. I even liked, even though it's full leather, it's nice and soft, and I just love the movement of it. So I think, you know, it's gonna be a little big, but I wanted to make sure that I had the width of the legs. You'll see it in the try-ons. Um, it does have a little split on the hem as well. Yeah. So that's the next thing that I got. I know, another leather pants, black leather pants. <sighs> the final thing that I got, this is very out of season, but I couldn't leave it. It is a suit. This is like a natural color linen suit. It is by Calvin Klein. I seem to be doing well um, finding Calvin Klein's in the third. This is a little oversized on me. And um, it says made in Indonesia, but yeah. I can't pass upon a suit. I think this will be great 
for the spring, but it's definitely something that, you know, it's one of those things, if you see it by, because I don't always find things, um, suits in my size, so when I do, and, you know, it looks perfect, this is a nice color to throw on with anything. Um, even now, before it gets too cold, I can still get away with wearing this um, out. So this is the final thing that I got. So I'll try these on for you and we'll see how these looked. So this is what the suit looks like and I love the fit of it. I do love this lighter shade. The top I'm wearing is from a vintage skirt set that I also thrifted recently as well as this little pendant necklace. Let me pull it up a little more. Yeah, so you can see it. Yeah, so this is how I've styled it. I love the play of colors. I just have this little vintage clutch, which I'm not so sure because I've styled it again with my heels. You can see it a little better here because the, the pants is a little more cropped here. So this is how I style it. But I definitely think for bag, I just go with this uh, mini Fendi. I love the contrast with the Zuka print and this little um, floral motif kind of thing. So this is how I've styled it. I love this. I have already started going through events and calendars because I want to make the most of fall, winter, and just enjoy the season the holidays coming up, I want to start like getting into that vibe. <laughs> and someone said that she stopped thrifting because she had nowhere to go. And, you know, part of it is now that you have the clothes, you're like, where can I wear this? And then you just find those events where you're just going to be like, hello, let me pop in here. So that's kind of <laughs> what I have in mind for this. I need to find like a nice little um, boat dinner or something that I can go add my name to the list and yeah so I love this I absolutely absolutely love this so this is how the suit looks and it is perfection so yeah nice little oversized in the spring I can always a t-shirt and sneakers or whatever you know dress it down but I thought I would dress it up a little bit today so I love this. So guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comment section what look was your favorite, what piece is your favorite. As well, don't forget to subscribe. I'd love for you to join the family. And if you did like this video, please give it a like and I'll see you guys in the next one.